our commentators, the legendary Ron Casey and the great world champion, Johnny Pamajon. Thank you, John, and welcome to ringside because it is a big night at the Apollo Stadium in Adelaide for the Commonwealth Championship. And Lester Ellis has bounded into the ring and he's pacing the ring. He's jumping and he's jigging and he's raring to go. He knows this is a critical night on his uh, comeback trail to get back to the heights that he had earlier in his career. He stormed into the ring. He's anxious to go. Waiting now for his opponent to come down to the ring. Tony Lang. And Tony Lang is the man who is going to have the task of testing Lester Ellis tonight. John Famishon with me at ringside. And John, you renewed an old friendship tonight because the man in the corner uh, behind Tony Lang is Mickey Duff, who was the partner of Michael Barrett, of course, in those great promotions in London, which resulted in you winning that world championship. Yes, so it was wonderful, wonderful to see Mickey Duff again, and uh, he there certainly he looks well. There he does. Look at him. There he is now. Mickey Duff coming up with Tony Lang. It is a big test for Lester Ellis. You overlook the fact that you forget that he's only 23 now and he's really on the storming comeback trail. His last seven, 11 fights have been for 11 wins in the last three years and seven of them have been inside the distance. What do you think of his chances tonight? This has got a fantastic record, and uh, in particular as of late, in which he stopped uh, most of his opponents. And uh, as he was uh, mentioning to me before, that uh, he's feeling fantastic because he's had uh, uh, three fights in the uh, the last six weeks, and uh, he's uh, really firing. He will be firing tonight. There's nothing like having a uh, little bit of a to do in the ring. I think Lester went across and touched uh, and touched Tony Lang and Mickey Duff reacted quite violently to it and uh, pushed uh, uh, pushed Lester Ellis away and uh, it was uh, quite a little scene there at, at mid-ring. Well, I thought it was a nice little gesture. I thought he was going over there to uh, wish the guy good luck, but uh, obviously it's a war of the, uh, a war of the words now. Well, uh, in, in, in that sort of mood, he might need, uh, he might need uh, the, uh, the little bit of luck. Uh, they're being gloved up for the fight. We'll take this break and then be back with you at ringside for the Commonwealth Light Welterweight Championship between Lester Ellis and Tony Lang. Yeah, the fighters certainly beat us out here into the ring, and that's why we haven't been able to show you the profile on Tony Lang, but now we stand by for the Australian National Anthem Advance Australia Fair. The fight tonight 
will be under the control of referee Jim Bolan. It will be judged by three judges, Johnny Wheeler, Malcolm Bulner and Chris Anderson. The referee has no uh, score, uh, scoring uh, duties. He simply keeps control of the fight. And there's Lester Ellis, 23 years of age, a very, very young man for those fights. 30 fights, 28 wins, 19 KOs, and of course that career highlight, the 995 victory in the IBF Junior Lightweight World title against Juan Kilyu. His manager is Keith Ellis, his brother, and of course he's a Melbourne boy. Standing by now to... Ladies and gentlemen, 12 three-minute rounds for the Commonwealth Super Lightweight Championship. 63.5 kilos the limit. Introducing in the red corner, the former IBF World Super Featherweight Championship. Champion, tonight scaling 63.5 kilos, right on the 10 stone limit. 29 out of 31 professional wins. Would you welcome to Adelaide, the master blaster of superficial punishment, Lester Ellis. Introducing in the blue corner at 30 years of age, the Commonwealth Super Lightweight Champion. Tonight scaling 63.05 kilograms, 9 stone, 13 pounds, with Mickey Duff, George Patrick and Mike Grinsdell in the corner. London-based, former Jamaican, champion Tony Lang. Tony Lang in the blue corner. <laughs> Your referee stepping up to his first Commonwealth title fight, James Boland. He's got a lot of Caribbean cavalier about him, Tony Lang, and referee James Bolden calls the two fighters together. Okay, boys, I spoke with both of you in the dressing room and your trainers. I want a good, clean fight. You know the scoring area of the body I expect you to score punches with. The neutral corner, one over there and one over there behind me in the case of a knockdown. One of you boys a knockdown, I want the other one to stay in the neutral corner until I call box again. Both clear? No questions? Shake hands now and start the last round. What's up? There's a lot hinging on this fight, Ron. There's chance of a, a world title fight at the end of this year for Lester Ellis. Uh, but first, he's got Tony Lang standing in front of him. Lester Ellis looks good. He looks, he just looks stronger to me than his opponent, Tony Lang. He looks really Seconds out. desperate to go. And here he comes. Round one. Very wide stance from the... Jamaican born champion Tony Lang. Fights out of Nottingham now in England. Oh, a hard left hook to the head by Ellis, immediately stamping his authority on the contest. Swinging right hand from Lang, high over uh, Ellis's head. Ellis moves and uh, Lang hits him with that left again. 12 three minute rounds the journey. That's the championship route tonight. The Ellis camp is certain that this extra weight will do nothing but good for Lester Ellis. It's Lang backs away pretty easily, darts in. Okay, get him, get Doesn't on, do step very back, much. Step right back. Watch and you to come in, Tony. The referee Jim Boland has them break. Lead by Lang. Get they come into a clinch again. Get Famishon watching very closely as a hard left hook comes from Tony Lang. He knows his way around a boxing ring. He throws the right hand again. Back, He's got Ellis in a bit of trouble. Ellis tried to hold on to him then. Not a good sign. And Boland talking to uh, Lang about lifting his leg in close. Right hand now by Lang. Oh, is get him, get him, get him. I think he's get been back, in a boxing ring before. Oh, yes, uh, he knows all the tricks. I mean, 17 fights over a period of uh, 10 years and uh, certainly against class opponents shows that uh, he has been in the ring before. This is the left hook that time. Alice Rose back. Get him, right. Step right back. Come on, come on. Step right back. Glove in. Just keep running in with your head in, Tony. And Box. the referee telling the, the champion about dropping his head. Sharp right hand there by Lester Ellis. Crowd here in Adelaide sensing there's a contest. Ellis, slight frown, moves towards his opponent. Lang's leads are away. The corner men over in the blue corner. That's uh, Tony Lang's corner. Shouting encouragement to Tony Lang. Mickey Duff is loud and vocal over there. Left hand by uh, Lang and he's off balance. Get right, get claimed uh, Ellis. Step back, step back, don't And no harm came to him. Back. 
Jab by Ellis. Come on, come on. Jab back. Lester Ellis. <laughs> Makes his opponent miss. Not much good Lester Ellis doing that. That doesn't score points. Only punches land at score points. And I don't think he'll phase Tony Lang with that sort of act. And the bell for the end of round one. To the corner of Tony Lang, Mickey Duff offering advice. And uh, here are Lang stats, as we heard, uh, age 30. Turned pro in 1977, but over that period has actually only had, uh, as we see there, the 18 fights, 13 wins, three losses, one draw. Seconds out, round two. And uh, we know that he won the Commonwealth title last year. Second round of the scheduled 12-round contest. Points in the first round. John? I would have given that a, a, an even round. Uh, both of them were feeling each other out, yet on the other hand, they weren't uh, afraid to mix it with each other, and uh, both of, of them scored impressive left hooks during that first round. Getting a little rough in there as Ellis tried to pull Lang off balance. Lang look, looks, he, he is shorter, but he looks uh, also looks lighter. But uh, at scale time this afternoon, there was nothing between them. Left hand by, uh, by Ellis. Ellis having to take off a few ounces, actually. He took 30 minutes uh, after the initial weigh to make the weight, and uh, it does suggest that he's probably put on a little uh, since weigh-in time and at actual ringside would be heavier. But uh, Lang's not uh, showing any uh, signs of uh, being phased by his opponent. Right. Belting out that right hand. Get back, get right back, get right back. The musing Ellis right a little back. in that exchange, and the referee separates them. Ellis can't find get the target with his left-hand lead. Get him free, Get him free, Come on, step right. Step back. The referee calling for the step back, but neither wanted to make the first move. Good right hand that time by Lester Ellis. Very quickly, Lang was in close, chest to chest. And not, a, not allowing Ellis to follow up any advantage he may have got from that one good punch. Lang changed his mind. He let go a left, pulled it halfway through. Up he comes. Throws that right hand. Back, step again. Back, step Stays in close. And once again, the referee. Now okay? uh, the referee one talking one, two, to uh, Tony Lang about a punch that went a little low. Ellis evading pretty well at this stage, Ron. He's a shifty mover, Lang, and uh, Ellis is having a lot of trouble in picking up the range on him. Lang not forcing the pace, waiting for Ellis to come to him and scores with a left hand jab. Once again, Lang just waiting for Ellis to come up to him. Now takes the lead to him, scores a left hand of the body. Now a good left hand of the body by Ellis that time, but Lang moved quickly and moved away. Lang beats Ellis to the punch with a left hand jab and jabs again. He's a good left hand puncher, Lang. That's where his uh, points are going to come from. There it goes yeah, again. That left hook by Tony Lang. Okay. Defending his title tonight step against back, Lester. Step back, don't punch. Come on, step right back. Keep your head up, Mister. They are waving their head around. It's that sort of fight. They're, they're moving, uh, trying to anticipate uh, the punches that are coming. As Lang moved down very low that time, uh, weaved around and made uh, Ellis miss. Come on. Up comes Ellis to Lang. Just missed him with that right. It was a good punch. Punch up there. Come on, punch up. Watch those edges, please. Come on. Left hand by the, uh, Lang, staying in close to Ellis, and now cutting loose as the bell goes for the end of round two. In Adelaide, as we take a look at how these two boxes shape up, and uh, how, of course, we saw that there wasn't much difference in the weigh-in this morning, but uh, the tail of the tape will tell the story as to who has the reach advantage and uh, we'll find out shortly that uh, Lester Ellis is the man who does have that advantage but Johnny first how does Seconds out, round oh, oh, three. Oh, they fought the same way as they did in the first round but I leaned slightly towards Ellis because of his cleaner punching and his jab. Up now for round three and Lang stands up close once again to Ellis the referee's working hard to have them step back. Cuffing away in close, no advantage there to either of them. Come on, sit back. You're both wrestling there. Come 
Ellis. Not being, he's really falling into the trap of fighting the sort of sort of fight that, that Lang wants to fight. He's not really fighting an Ellis style fight at the moment. He's wrestling with Lang and allowing Lang to uh, set the pace and set the style. And if he allows him to do this, he's going to have a very, very difficult night. Um, Ellis's strength is to move and punch and punch hard. And he's just not able to do it at the moment because Lang is, is just too smart for him. He's, that's not his big punch. Lang's, Lang's foxing with that wild right hand. Lang's good punch is the left. It's left jab and left hook from, uh, from the champion. And that's the punch that Lang's really got to worry about. That, that Ellis has really got to worry about. Step back, step back, don't punch. Heads are getting pretty uh, close in there as they uh, fight at close quarters. Then comes uh, Lang again with that left hand jab. Ellis is just not doing enough at the moment and falling into the style of uh, the fight that Lang wants him to fight. And the uppercut from Lang certainly scored in close there. Here comes Lang at him again, closing the fight up. And Ellis at the moment uncertain as to how to handle this very tricky and difficult opponent. He won't let him go. He's got Ellis's left glove claim. He will not let him go. And the referee pushes them apart. You're both wrestling and close and holding. Okay, we're good clean fight. Step back and box. He's calling both of them as holding, but I think Lang's the one that's doing most of it and doing it pretty cleverly. Left into the body by Lang. He's here comes Ellis now. Left and right to the head, and Ellis goes with the left hook. By golly, this is what back, Lang back, doesn't want his back. opponent to be able to do, to punch at him with both hands. And that's the style of fight that, Ellis, that Lang is doing. That left hand into the body. Up close he comes to Ellis again, only once now in the fight so far has Ellis been able to get loose and fight at range. Left hand jab, they both exchange. It's pretty rugged in there. Uh, Lang's, uh, <laughs> yes, Lang's uh, fighting it uh, very difficult to get past uh, Ellis's uh, left jab. Here comes uh, Lang again at Ellis, Ellis back in the ropes. Hooked that time by by Lang. In goes Lang, throws that right hand, keeps Ellis back on the ropes. Punch up, come on. All right, step back, step right back, step right back, right back. Ellis looking fairly relaxed back against the ropes that time. Comes in with a good right hand. Step back, step back, step right back, step right back. Chin as he came in. You push him, when you push him, you come over your head, Tony. Once more, I'll take a point off. Yes, they heard the warning there. That if he comes in with his head like that again, the referee will instruct the uh, judges to take a point off. Jab now by uh, Tony Lang. Ellis back to the ropes once more. Come on. Bell for the end of round three. Just once, but he certainly did it. Well, I, th I thought uh, I thought that he uh, he lost that round because he was uh, falling into the trap of uh, mixing it with the uh, uh, the Englishman, and uh, I think uh, perhaps that uh, the weight loss today might have been seconds out. The, the round problem with four. him uh, not feeling so successful with himself. Well, he bounced into the ring so confidently and so aggressively that uh, I thought it was uh, this was going to be Alice's night, but he's doing it pretty hard at the moment because this very tricky, uh, English champion is making it difficult for him to score the points that he needs and makes it even more difficult for him to get the room to punch the way that Alice needs to punch to finish the fight inside the distance. Alice getting a reprimand for pulling his opponent in. Laying it on top of Alice. Get him for it, come on. Mr. waiting for the lead, looking for a counter punch. He doesn't, he can't, can't fight that, can't fight that way with Tony Lang. He's got to be the aggressor and be on top. But here comes Ellis, that was a better left hand. Takes the fight up to his opponent, jabs again. Come on. All right, step back, step back, step back. The referee has to call for a break and blaming Ellis for pulling his opponent in. Watch those heads, boy. Come on. I'm afraid that the risk of a head clash here is very high with the way step they're back, fighting. Back. Very close together and a lot of movement in close. Most of it coming from Lang, of course, Ron, as he bores in and doesn't give Ellis that room. The bookies had Ellis at three to one on, but uh, I think Lang is surprising them. Lang stays in close to Ellis. That, that's the tactic uh, that Lang is using, in close. Uh, I, I'm sure that Lang's heard that uh, Lester's had to lose some weight, and as you can see through the fight, he's laying in on him and uh, getting into the clinches, and therefore, if you've had to lose some weight, uh, you tend to become a little tired after a while. And this could be the, the tactics of the Englishman. Ellis trying hard to go to the body with both hands, but uh, now he goes with the left rip to the body, following that right to the head. Oh, good fifth at the punching now by Ellis, and a left-hand counter by 
Tony Lang. Oh, that was close. There was a bump then. No damage done, though, I don't think. Left hook that time by Tony Lang. This is developing into a hard, tough fight now. Keep both on, come on. Oh, they keep back, at it in back. close. Push him in your shoulder again, Tony. Right. Yeah. Referee encouraging them to try and uh, fight uh, loosely and uh, not to uh, get, get too close with their heads. No holding and they go on with it. Left into the body by uh, Lang, hooked by Ellis. Lang's defence. A good right hand by Ellis that time, got through the defence. And uh, Tony Lang claims him. Lang jabbing at Ellis, puts him back towards the ropes. Lang in close, uppercuts with that right hand, left into the body by uh, Lang. Lang missed with his right hand, but we had enough balance left to score with a left hook almost going. Bell for the end of round four. Sure. Yes, I would have expected uh, Leicester to... And uh, the, he seems to be falling for the trap of, uh, of mixing it with Lang, who, uh, uh, as we all know, is uh, an old campaigner. And Lester is starting to fall for the trap of Seconds mixing out, it with him. Round five. Instead of moving around and jabbing him off. Out they come now for round five. Five of 12. Now hold him, punching right. freely to the body. Ellis going with that right hand to the body. He just he's showing a little bit of frustration here. Get back, get back, get back, get back, back. Yeah. back. Next time, I told you, Tony, I'll take a point off. All right. Now the okay. referee telling Tony Lang that he take a point on him if he infringes again with that punching on the back of the head. And Mickey Duff jumped up from the corner to say that Ellis was the one that started that. So there's plenty going on in the corners of Tony Lang. Get him free, get him free. Come on, get him free. You both on him. Come on. Good hook by uh, Tony Lang. Good right hand by Lang. Ellis back to the ropes. Uppercut by Lang again. Oh, and Lang stays Tony. right in on top of him. Will not get him will not give him room to punch. And meantime right, is landing leather back, himself. Back, right back. Tony Lang proving to be a shifty and very difficult opponent for Lester Ellis. Ellis goes to the body now, the left, left and right now by, by Ellis. But notice how Lang stays Don't in hold close. Him here, you hold him no way is he going to get in a punching duel with him Lester. at distance. Box. Good left into the body that time by Ellis. Another right to the body by Ellis. Hooked that time by Tony Lang. Oh, it's a tough fight. Get him free there, Tony. Hold on him. Come on, step back. Tony Lang managing to get incredibly low and keep his balance on and, uh, and of course that's avoiding a lot of Ellis' uh, punches and he's just doing exactly that, coming back up, getting in the clinch and doing the work inside. Lester, don't hold him back of the head. He's learned quite a few tricks through his amateur and professional career, Tony Lang. And he's using them all tonight. Now Ellis, frustration again. Don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Don't punch. You're wrestling again, both of you all right? Okay. Step back, box. And the little left hand went in as they were being warned the punch. By Ellis. Well, we thought he was going to be right on the button with that one. It just missed. And it's uh, Tony Lang's. No doubt that Tony Lang's best is the left. Left, rip, uh, left hook or left jab. Left hook that time by Ellis. Come on, punch up in here. Mickey Duff over in the corner calling to Lang to stay up close. Watch stay in close to him. Come up, come up, come up as he signal all the time. And he's doing just that, forcing Ellis back onto the ropes. Right, step back, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. And the referee has to get them apart once more. Big right hand that time by Tony Lang. He wasn't foxing with that one. Into the body goes Lang again. Ellis unable to score good clean scoring punches. Although he got a good left one through that, a good left hand through that time. And the bell for the end of round five. Uh, the working close from Tony Lang has been fantastic and uh, he just seems to be able to stay there. Good tactics, John. It's very reminiscent of the fight that uh, Barry Michael put up with up uh, against Leicester uh, in 1985 and 
Uh, I, I just wonder whether uh, the Leicester camp have learned from that out. lesson because round he's six. certainly bustling uh, Alice uh, through each round. Well, I think it's getting uh, getting a little bit serious now for uh, Leicester Ellis because we're in round six and uh, really he hasn't been able to exert the authority that he should have been able to if he's going to take this free, title tonight. Free, boy. Come on. Good two-fisted punching by Ellis that time, but very quickly Lang gets up to him. Ellis tempting to go with both Watch hands head, again. Come on. But Tony Lang is staying in close, get away, get away, not on. letting Ellis right, get out of him. Step back, step back, step back. Shot at him. Punch up there, let's a bit low. There goes Lang once again at the body. Ellis trying to push him away. Lang stays up, wrestling, head, no, wrestling with him. Step back, step back, don't punch. Box. There goes Alice now, trying to get those gloves through. Good left hand into the body. And a left hand counter that time by Tony Lang. Get away, Tony, come on, go. Step back. And referee quick this time to get uh, a break there with Lang once again hanging on to Ellis's arms. We've seen him doing this a lot during the fight. Here he comes in again. Ellis. Lang's not showing any sign of, uh, of uh, lack of confidence now. He's we're well balanced and uh, pretty much in control of uh, what he's doing. Well, he's fighting his sort of fight, Ron. Very much. He comes up to uh, Ellis again. Ellis oh, step back. is claimed and the referee gets them apart. Hard into the body that time by Ellis. And uh, he has landed some good body punches, but uh, not enough of them to cause any distress to Tony Lang. Ooh, a bump of heads, and that was a bad one. Left that time by Lang. Ellis stays in close, and Lang hits him with a right hand in close to score again. Left hook this time by uh, Tony Lang. Ellis must become the aggressor oh, step back, step back, shortly. Step back. Into the body by uh, Ellis. Ellis, that's good punching by Ellis. Nice, nicely on the spot. Hooked that time by Ellis again. Making Lang miss, but not Make coming up, back right? himself. They're waving those heads around. Left hand jab by Ellis. That was a good one. And you come on. Hard right hand by Lang in close that time. And Lang evens the score with a right. Left into the body that time by Ellis. Oh, Ellis hurt him with that right. It was a good punch. But Lang just stays in close. Safety. The touch of blood coming from the nose of Tony Lang right now. Get him, watch your in closer, Tony. Staying in close, the referee allowing them to get him, get him, sort themselves on. out. Come on, let's. Up comes Lang. Ellis hits him with the right. Get him, get him, free. come on. Lang. Keep step, back, step back, step back. You're pushing him with your, in your head again, Tony, all right? Box. Referee, referee working over time. Reprimanding him for getting that head in close because there will be damage done sooner or later. John Famishon. Yes, uh, certainly uh, not a uh, serious one, but uh, it, at this stage I find that uh, Lang is, uh, has got the points over the last uh, three rounds. I was generous uh, to Leicester in that particular round, the, uh, the six, by uh, giving him a draw. And at this seven. stage, Lang is in front. Well, uh, Lester Ellis has the job ahead of him. Here they come now for round seven. John Famishon has scored Lang in front at this stage, and Lang goes confidently with, with both hands to the body. Ellis backs away. Tony Lang comes after him. Tony Lang is not going to surrender this title easily. If Ellis wants it, he's going to have to take it hard. Left hand jab now by Ellis. Watch him kitty punch Tony. We're into the championship half of the contest now, the second half, the tough half. Right into the body by Lang. Lang taking the fight up to Ellis at a little bit of range now, not closing the fight up too much. Left hand jab by Ellis, and uh, obviously that will remind Lang that he's got to close the fight up. Because at range, Ellis looks all right. Right to the head by Lang, and gets in there and stays close. Step back, step back. Step back. Two minutes to go in the seventh round. Good right hand by Ellis. That was a good punch. The corner men for Tony Lang beckoning to him to come up close. Ellis fighting strongly off the ropes then. 
Watch it, hit it, Tony. Get him, right. Step back, step back, down, step back, step back. Come on, Actually, Ellis is starting to, to, to look as though he's confused in close and doesn't quite know how to handle his opponent. Step back, step back. He's not moving step back. confidently there at all in close. Once again, there's a reprimand to Tony Lang for use of the head in close. I think he is getting a bit careless with it. Right to the body by, Lang, by uh, Ellis. Pushed back on the ropes, but Lang misses. Then scores with a left hand. Once again, it's uh, the head of Tony Lang waving around there in close. Ellis goes left and right. Good punches by Ellis. Get away, get away. Step back, Lester. Step back, step back, step right back. Oh, this is hard now. Lester. Get away, get away. All right, step back again. <laughs> Jab by Ellis as uh, Lang came in on top of him. Both fighters are going to have to dig deep. We'll find out who the fittest is as this uh, seventh round continues. And well, of course, not far, not, far, not far for it to go. Good body punch by Ellis and a good right to the head by Ellis. Right, step back, step right step back, step back, step back, step back, step back. This has been a better round for Ellis despite the fact he's had a few bad moments in close. He's caught well with two left hooks and then a left end of the body by Ellis. Close to the end of the round. Ellis blasted those ones into the body of the champion. Hooked to the head by Tony Lang as the bell goes for a good seventh round for Lester Ellis. Round. Well, quite uh, quite aptly, I can say that I gave him that last round, but only just because of his cleaner punching. Uh, certainly, he's got the ball. Uh, he's behind the uh, the black ball, and he needs to to start moving around uh, Lang. Uh, he's still falling for the trap of mixing it with Lang, and Lang, knowing perhaps that uh, Lester is tiring, will need to move around a lot more and throw more cleaner punches. Up they come now for round eight. Good right hand by Ellis opens the activities for the eighth right, round. Punch up in here. And Ellis punching freely again. Scores with that left to the head. Lang from his very wide stance. Scores with a left hand jab. Ellis standing pretty upright now, trying to fight at range. Watch your head in there, come on. Get Ellis swung around onto the, onto the rope so that Lang is able to stay in close to him and the referee won't have it a bar of that. He pulls, pushes them apart. Good punch that time by, uh, by Ellis. Lang closing up again. Lang realises that uh, in close is safety close. Good left hand to the body of the time by, uh, by Ellis. Jab. No, it was off range by uh, Lang. Once, once more, that the referee, uh, Jim Boland, has to separate them. As I was saying towards the end of that last round, Ron, that we're going to see just uh, which, which fighter is fitter as this uh, fight commences through the championship rounds. And we'll see whether those three ounces that Ellis had to lose is going to affect him too much. Left and right by Ellis. Good to the body by Ellis. Left hand by uh, Tony Lang. And Lang just answered the punch, answered the punching challenge that time from Ellis. Oh, that's enough, that's enough, that's, that's enough. enough. wrestling for the referee. Ellis wins the move for the first punch. It scores well with that body punch. Pretty untidy exchange there. That one's a good left hand by Lang. Lang goes Ellis, looking for the opportunity. Exchange of leads, left into the body by Ellis. All right, come on, then. Good left hand now by Ellis, and it uh, shoots down Lang a little. Lang goes after Ellis, gets in there and stays close. Every time Lang is stung by Ellis, Lang tries to get in there and hold on. Referee leaves them apart, but it's valuable resting moments for Tony Lang. Now Lang's back in business again. Watch that man, come on. Step back, step back, step back. You're both using your head to get in close. Ellis who's pushed back on the ropes that time and hit by Lang. Good right hand that time by Lester Ellis. That was right on the button and did Tony Lang no good at all. The crowd roaring now, another right hand by 
Lester Ellis playing desperately holding on. It's close to the end of the round. Referee having a look at uh, the champion, Tony Lang. And the bell is gone for the end of round eight. Came home strong. He had Tony Lang stunned. He had Tony Lang leaning on him. And here's how he did it, John Famishon. Yes, he certainly stung, uh, stung Lang with that uh, right cross. And uh, I thought the referee there for a moment was going to put a count on uh, on Lang, and uh, I, I can see now that, uh, that Alice is starting to find his mark. Here they go now for round nine, and it's a confident Alice that comes out of the corner for the ninth. He knows that he hurt uh, Lang in that previous round. And it will be Tony Lang who will have to answer the challenge in this round. And Alice confidently pushes him away. Tony Lang is still to be beaten, however. Left-hand jab by Ellis. By the same token, Mickey Duff is looking more worried in the corner of Tony Lang and uh, the Ellis camp shouting encourage, encouragement to Lester as he step comes back, over back. with the right Stop hand. Stop holding, Tony. Stop. Step back and don't punch. You're, holding as you, you're claiming as you're coming in. Fox. He certainly is claiming as he comes in. And wouldn't you if you had Lester Ellis blasting away at you? Get him, get him, get him. No Tony Lane hard. trying to get a breather after a very, very tough eighth round in this ninth by grabbing hold of his opponent, wrestling, claiming him, trying to prevent him punching. But the name of the game is punching because that's the only way you score points. And there goes Lester Ellis, left and right to the body. But once more, it's Tony Lang standing up close to his opponent. Left hook that time by Lester Ellis, a jab by uh, Lang as he moves up. Another jab by Lang, beating Ellis to the punch. Gives him the opportunity get him, get him, to get him, him, close on. once more. All right, step back, step back, step back. You're both pushing again. there. Come on, boys. A good point fight I want. Come on, box. There's Biggie Duff That's, in the corner. Uh, it's Ellis now cutting loose. Left into the body. Left and right to the head by Ellis. Oh, he would look good in that exchange. But once more, it's Tony Lang closing that fight up. Ellis has got to be able to show the strength and authority to, to do it over a longer period than just a two or three punch burst. He's really got to keep punching at Lang to prevent Lang getting in close at him. Oh, good left hand by Lester Ellis, but immediately Lang pushes him away towards the ropes. Trying to equalise the score, but uh, Ellis, when he punches freely, looks far better. Get him, get him, and you too, Lester, come on, get him, please. The swinging right hand from Tony Lang. 45 seconds right, of the back, round to go. Right Ellis jabbing the left hand at Lang. Lang comes in behind a left hand lead himself, but really gets in close and just stays there. Step right back and don't punch. Go on, no, no score up and go on. Right back, stop. Still plenty of cheek from Tony Lang as he stays in close there, mauling and brawling away at Lester Ellis. Watch him there, come on, step right back, step right back. Only a few seconds of the round to go. Once again, I'll take a four or two. Good right hand to the body by Ellis, another right to the body by Ellis. Good body punching by the challenger as the bell goes. Ooh, for the end of a pretty fiery end of the ninth round. Oh, Sean, he's certainly getting back into this fight well and truly. Well, I've given uh, Lester that last round and uh, only because of the uh, the cleaner punches that he's been throwing. And uh, Lang, uh, I feel, he's starting to uh, feel the wear and tear. Seconds out, round over there in the blue corner as uh, the handlers of the champion tell him what to do. Here comes Lester Ellis now. Lester Ellis rolling out now in the 10th round. Three rounds to go, 10, 11, and 12. And Lester Ellis has got a cut on the right eyebrow. It's just a small one at the Don't moment. Me, come on. And not wouldn't cause him any trouble at this stage. Wouldn't surprise you if it was a head clash either. Referee Lord Ward El Great. By Ellis, he goes to uh, the champion again, and right, Ellis is back, really back, trying back. hard back, to get on top in this fight. Tony Lewis answers the challenge with a good left What's hand. Punch, it's on. a nasty cut now. He's got another punch on it Watch because head, it's uh, starting to bleed step a little back, now. Step back, step right back, right back and no punch. And the referee has a look at the cut on the right eyebrow, but the uh, signals box on. Right to the head by Ellis. 
you hold me. Come on, hold me. Come on. That cut's really got uh, worse. It was just a little nick at the start, but it's not too good now. Although the referee showed, showed no real concern. That's hooked by, uh, by Tony Lane. Back, that would be right back, on that eyebrow again. Step right back. Watch your head, Lester. Come on. Fox. Jab now by Tony Lane. No pushing, Lester. Come on. Step back. Step back. You're both pushing. Now, come on. Fox. Well, the odds are against Tony Lang, uh, against uh, uh, Lester Ellis at the moment. As Tony Lang comes in on top of Lester Ellis. All right, get him, Ellis step back, step back, step back, and don't punch. And right struggling back, for right points back. with the remainder of this round and rounds 11 and 12 to go. You're holding him, pulling him in, Tony. Come on. It's a top up a cut from Tony Lang, but Ellis counters. There's uh, Lang staying in close and punching freely. Ellis back with a right to the head. It doesn't look as though Ellis has got the punching right, power back, to end the back, fight now. Back, and he's really back. going to have All to right, do it. Neutral corner, that's a neutral corner. There's a neutral... One point off the headbutt. There's a one point off. A point has been taken off Tony Lang. The referee instructing the judges to take off a point for headbutting. And Mickey Duff is going berserk in the corner. And he's going berserk over. Left and right to the body now by Ellis. And he's gone crazy, Ellis. <laughs> and left into the body by Ellis. The referee gets them apart again. A right to the head now by Lester Ellis. As uh, Tony Lang stays up close again. There's heads oh, are in close again back, one more time. The referee instructing the judges to take a point off Tony Lang for headbutting. Come on, watch your head, Tony. Again. And there's okay. another butt there by Tony Lang. And the referee warns Lang once again. You both use your head and you call that one. Box. And he's blaming Lang for it. Left and right into the body by Alice. The right to the head now by Alice. Lang back at him one more time. Step back, step back, step back, step back, step back. Referee has a quick look at the eye of uh, Lester Ellis. Ellis scores with the right hand. Up comes Lang. Forces Ellis right under the right. Step back again. Step back again. Him on the back of the head. You come in, Tony. Come on. And the bell for the end of a very tough tenth round. Uh, but really, he was warned, Lang, at the end of round nine. But here we go with the replay. I thought that was Lester Ellis's best round so far in the fight, despite the fact that uh, uh, he was headbutted by uh, by Lang. Uh, he's still falling for the trap of wrestling with him, uh, making him a little bit tired. But it's the uh, Ellis that we know that's now going into round 11. Round 11 it is, two to go. And can Lester Ellis get up to win this title from Tony Lang? Get him, get him, step back, step back. Come on, boys, come on. Right to the body by... Uh, Ellis and Lang answers it with a left himself. Oh, those heads in there. Oh, it's pretty wild stuff in there. Right to the body by Ellis was the better punch. Tony Lang, game and strong, taking the fight right up to his opponent and not too keen, not too worried about how he does it. Watch out beyond the punches, beyond the hitters. All right, step back, step back, step back again, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. And you two, let's go on, step back. We've got Ellis, Ellis off balance now in this 11th round, and Ellis needs the points. Left to the head by Lang, left into the body by Ellis. That was a good punch. That one, that one hurt. All right, step back, step back, step back. Step back, step back. Don't punch. Very anxious to hold on. Another good body punch by Ellis. Another one by Ellis. Lang trying to get in close. He misses with the left hand, and it was a pretty weak effort. And I think that showed that those body punches of Ellis did hurt. Watch your head, too, Liz. Box. Ellis beats Lang to the lead and cuts loose with a right and left. Ellis back with a clubbing right hand. Lang swung around by Ellis. And back he comes at Ellis, in close, behind that lead. Hard mauling okay, step back, step back. in what close and Come on. a style of fight that's of no advantage to Alice. Get away, get away. Come on. Alice left and right at uh, Tony Lang, punching freely, left to the head by Alice. Lang back with a hook. Alice with a left hook and a left to the body. Hard right to the body by Alice. That was a tough exchange. No holding, no holding. No, come on, step right back. Right back, right back. Ellis, two right hands, good punches. Watch your head, baby, come on. All right, that'll do you, that'll do you, that'll do you. Step back, right back, come on. Come on, Tony, and Lester, step right back, please.
This is the 11th round, coming up with 25 seconds of it to go. And Ellis, two-fisted uh, scoring at the expense of Tony Lang. Right to the head by uh, Ellis, and Lang swings right, him around. Step back, step back, step back. You're both holding come on. Mickey Duff calling for Lang to use the uppercut. Those body punches seem to have take the, taken their toll on. Ronnie's running out of energy of those punches. They've been a bit weak. Ellis. Left to the body as the bell goes for the end of round 11. A mauling wrestling fight, and it's uh, sometimes in the eye of the beholder who uh, who gets the points in these hard wrestling bouts. In, uh, at, in all clean punches landed, particularly in the second half of the fight, it's been Ellis who has picked the points. But he's been a tough champion, Tony Lang, and he's been determined to retain that title. And here he is with two minutes, two and a half minutes to go. In the contest, last round, right to the head by Ellis. Watch your elbow, Tony. Clubbing left hand by Tony Lang, pushing Ellis back Watch towards the race. Step back, step back, step back. Watch your head, buzzing, buzzing. Come on. The lead is by Lang, and Ellis once Tony, again is clean. Stop holding. You're pulling more than the time to hold him. The referee Watch. telling uh, Lang about holding. It's left to the body by Ellis. Once again, he's got Ellis's Watch left glove clean. <laughs> Ellis cuts loose right and left to the head. Don't desperately push trying to push up, Lang up. away. Totally, Just back, under two back, minutes to back. go. Both of you using your head in the last round, don't have to stop it now. Come on, step back and box. Right by Ellis. Get away, get away. No pushing, come on. Ellis missing with the left hook, pays the penalty right, as Lang back, counters back. with the left. Back, Ellis pushes him around into the ropes. Showing the frustration at the fighting style of Tony Lang. Get a break, Tony, get a break. And you too, mate. Come on. Step back, step back, step back, step right back. Come on. Hard right by Ellis and a left hook counter by Lang as we come towards the last no, minute of the contest. No, no, step back, step back, step back, step back. Right hand by no, Ellis yeah. and Lang falls in on top of him. Wrestles again. Inside the last minute of the contest. No pushing. Come on, touch up there, boy. Come on. Ellis working for the body. Hook misses from Lang. Jabbing by Tony no, Lang. Right to the body by Ellis. And there's 30 seconds of the fight to go. Watch your head, Lester. Come on. Good right hand that time by Ellis. Left into the body by Ellis. And a hook by Ellis. They were good punches. Ellis scoring with a left hook. And it's a fighting, punching finish to this championship contest. Left hook by Ellis. A right by Ellis. And the crowd urging it. And he's, he's going down. But the referee will put no count on him. I thought he had him, but he didn't. Gamely, oh, Tony Lang hit with a right hand, holding on desperately. The bell's gone. The bell is gone. Ellis claims, Ellis claims, claims the victory. Ellis claims the victory. We're waiting for the judges' scores. But Ellis, with a great fighting second half and a fantastic final two or three rounds. There's no need to wait for the judges' scores. Lester Ellis has won this fight. The referee... Held he Ellis's hands it. aloft and stopped the fight when, of course, that crashing right hand came over the top and Tony Lang was in all sorts of bother Ladies and the crowd went berserk. Finish. Come on, let's put your hands together for Les Ellis and Tony Lang. What a sensational contest. The referee would have stopped that with barely, third, with, with barely a fraction of a second left to go. We'll be ready out the scorecards and then John Hart will be talking to both boxers. OK, well, here we have the replay, by referee Ron, James and uh, as you said, it happened right near the end of the fight. Now, this is the first one where uh, Lang seemed to be down. And in comes the referee. He wipes the gloves. They go again. And Lester Ellis comes over the top with the crashing right hand. And in he comes and stops the fight. And sure enough, Lester Ellis' arm um, is gentlemen, raised high. Gentlemen, the new boxing centre, what do you think? Come on, Ellis. No, what it is. Well done, Richard. A dynamic card here at the Apollo Stadium. We'll take a break. Be back with Lester Ellis and Tony Lang, two brave combatants. 
119. Final card, Judge Malcolm Bolder, Lane 109, Ellis 118. The new Commonwealth champion, Lester Ellis. It's been a fantastic performance from Lester Ellis. We're going to get a word now with the new Commonwealth champion and a man who I'm sure is hoping to go on to win his second world title. Lester, it was very much a spoiling fight, uh, a fight that uh, I guess was very tough for you, particularly in the early rounds. And you were trying to get out to get a clear shot at the guy, but he was making it tough. Yes, Johnny, he was very cagey, very courageous. At times I found him very slippery and close all the time. I couldn't seem to get him off. But everyone's got their style. I think his style's in close and hanging on. But, you know, God... And he put his shoulders on a few fighters, and I think I've been a very blessed man. And I'd like to thank God for that. Thank you very much. Main freight, he's took over my management. They've got a world title fight for me in about eight weeks' time. No contracts yet, but very confident, so I'm very excited there. Uh, Russell Sands, this one was for you, mate, all the way. And all the boys at Deer Park, I'm cheering for you. Thank you. Lester's tribute, of course, to Russell Sands, his training partner, the man who made a comeback with you and was tragically killed in the car accident. Uh, I'm sure he's with us now, but uh, we're talking about a world title. You think you can get it in the next two months if the contracts go ahead? Uh, and can you tell us, let us in on it, which weight will it be? Will you be fighting at this weight? Well, this weight, this weight's very comfortable, <laughs> John. That light water weight's very comfortable. They don't have to diet or lose any pounds. So I think this weight, his name's Roger Mayweather, the WBC light water weight champion. Heard on Bruce on negotiations at the moment, so it's took me three hard years to get back up to number one in the world, and I'm going to do anything I can. And uh, I'd like to thank Richard also for putting this together. It's been my dream coming true. It's took a lot of hard couple of years, but um, nothing's going to stop me from getting it again. Tony Lang. A courageous performance from him too. Not only a spoiling performance, we haven't given him the credit that uh, Tony Lang deserves because he certainly, when you did hit him with some shots later on, particularly in the closing stages of, of 9, 10, 11 and 12, he stood there and took them. And of course, you finally got him in the 12th round. Well, it's a long way for a fighter to come 13,000 miles to defend his title. So I take my hat off to the guy, but... Geez, very awkward, John, very awkward. <laughs> I couldn't sort of get a clean shot across for 12 rounds, although I was trying very hard. But in the last round, I sort of loosened up and I sort of found my mark and got a couple of good shots on. A, I think 15, round, 15 rounds would have been my sort of go. <laughs> All right, congratulations to Lester Ellis, a new Commonwealth <laughs> light world away champion. Right now, we'll take a break on the Australian Television Network and be back. <laughs>